I have no worries about leaving without any exams because at the end you have this 100 page module which you spent, I don't know, like two months hard work with pictures and everything and that is so much more impressive than just an A on a piece of paper. My work that I've done at primary school which is just lines the paper with little crosses at the end saying you know this is wrong with an acorn you've done work and I'm so proud of my work I'll take that and show my grandchildren. I am planning to go to university this September doing creative writing and drama and I've been accepted in three places. I have a place at Loughborough University to study sport and exercise sciences. Next year I'm going to do Art Foundation. I may be going to Sandhurst to study to be an officer. I applied to do herbal medicine and I got into Westminster and Middlesex so far. If I've got homework to do, then there's not a thought of not handing it in. You just you just do it because you want to do it, really. Um, and we all love we all love learning here because we've been taught to love learning. Uh, I was at a Stein school before where they did do exams, and like James was saying, it all just completely focused towards the exams. It's quite amazing to see myself working so much harder. In a lot of schools, it's not cool to work. Um, and it's not cool to hand your book in, it's not cool to know, be good in tests, it's not cool for anything, but here, um, your friends only sort of, if you don't do your work, your friends also think, well, he's, he's not working hard, so maybe he's not respecting the lessons. The teachers really inspire you as well. They're so passionate about their subject that, that it just makes you want to learn more and it makes you want to do it. You learn so many things that are really valuable um, from, from how to do farming and building to the saints main lessons where you learn about all the saints and also we've always from the beginning had references to every different religion and culture so we're really opened up to the whole world. It doesn't force your sort of academic um, brain to work in that way because it needs to be prepared I think to accept and take in the subjects we learn later on in the school. I'm not a sporty person <laughs> and I would never dream of <laughs> going on like weekends away. I mean I did diving in Thailand which I thought I'd never do and so many different things and Coming here makes you much more of a whole rounded person. I was looking recently at possibly becoming um, an officer in the Royal Engineers and I got one of their sheets through and um, all the stuff that we've been doing that you wouldn't expect maybe would help you, you know, we've built a roundhouse in Forge Cottage. One of the qualifications you needed was actually diving. We've, we've been diving. We're not allowed to, you know, do the bad thing, smoke, drink, all that. Um, that's not part of Acorn at all, but there's these things we do out of school that are more addictive than any of them. If you're a parent out there and you want your child to learn, then really there's no better place because we enjoy it. So. I think I'm proud to, to have done something different. I think yeah, it's much, much, much more fun. I've never wanted anything to change. I've been here 12 years and I never ever wanted anything to change. And I hope it never does. Yeah. <laughs>